Hey folks, I'm Matt Reinerth with Como Park Zoo and Conservatory, standing outside our new temporary exhibit, The Lion's Mane. Let's head on inside and talk to Don Luce, the curator for exhibits at the Bell Museum at the University of Minnesota. They're the folks that created this exhibit and brought it to us here. Well, here we are inside the exhibit and I'm joined with Don. Don, thanks so much for being out here today. I really appreciate it. Well, Matt, this is great. It's great to have the Lion's Man exhibit over here at Como. And uh, so it's a great partnership. Great, excellent. Don, what, when people walk into this room, what's the first thing that's gonna strike them and what's inside this room? Well, they're gonna see two lions, they're gonna see a lion dummy, and they're gonna see two lion researchers. So when we come into the exhibit, we can first we're gonna see the large uh, male lion with a, just a beautiful big mane. Yeah, big dark mane. And this is uh, kind of a classic lion. It's kind of the lion you see in all the artwork uh, that have, has been depicted. It's a lion that, you know, people have thought, oh, okay, this is, uh, you know, this was sort of protection. But then again, uh, female lions fight a lot too. Other cats fight, they don't have manes. So what was it about this mane? So one of the, uh, she was testing is, is this mine, mane really protection or is it some kind of a signal? Kind of like a peacock's tail that male lions use to, as a display of their fitness in order to attract females and maybe to intimidate other males. Well, another thing inside the exhibit is this dummy meal. Can you tell us, a lot of people think that, oh, this thing should be repaired, but it's actually supposed to look like. Well, this is one of the cool experiments she said. She said, let's test this. How can we do an experiment out in the field? And so they had three of these, three or four of these big full-size toy lions made with manes that could be interchangeable because the manes vary in their color and size. And they could set these out in the field and attract lions to them and then test how lions reacted to these dummies. And there's video in the exhibit of these experiments which is very uh, funny because in a way because they have both males so they could see they put two they gave the males a choice. Do you go to the lion with a small mane or the dark mane or the big mane or the light colored mane or the, or the dark mane? And so to a male lion, seeing two big male lions in their territory is a pretty scary thing because this is his chance of either, he has to either drive them off or he loses his, his, uh, his reign with that pride of lions and he could actually be killed in this, in this encounter. So the lion is very cautious and what they, coming up to these, uh, these dummies, and what they found is the males would pick the, li the, the lion that they thought they could have an easier chance of defeating. So lions with lighter color manes or smaller manes. And when they actually got up there, they actually attacked that dummy. And, uh, but once they realized it was a dummy, <laughs> they would quit. But the, there are holes in this dummy that uh, are from the other male lions attacking it. So there's also a, a life-size picture of the researchers and their tools that they used out on uh, uh, in the desert. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, it's really uh, there. You know, there's a lot of things that are sort of typical. You know, this the uh, the tranquilizer darts and their radios. They radio track the lions. It's one of the ways they kind of can find them and and relocate them. Uh, GPS units. Uh, we actually have some of uh, Peyton's actually notebooks, field notebooks, where she's recording uh, this information. So we really want to get people to be able to see what it's like to be a, a, a field researcher, a field biologist. So Don, besides the lines themselves, there's great educational boards and uh, good reading material inside here, and it's really a hands-on exhibit. What can people take away from this exhibit? Well, they're going to learn about uh, the difference between male lions and female lions. They're going to be able to touch uh, real uh, some lion teeth and claws and the footprints. They're going to see a skull of a lion that male lion that was killed by another one. They're going to have some hands-on activities about how these researchers do their research. They'll be able to look and sort of judge how uh, rate different mains. Um, and so they're going to see some research videos. So there's, there's a lot of uh, uh, things that people can do in the exhibit. So the beauty about this is it's not only visually stunning, but it's educational as well. Absolutely, yeah, that's our job. Don, thanks so much for coming out and telling us all about this great exhibit. Well, thanks, Matt. It's been great. It's great to have it here. Great.
Hey folks, this is a traveling exhibit. It's been around the country. It's fantastic. It's visually just something. It's been on BBC, it's been in CNN, it's been in National Geographic, and now it's here at Coleman Park Zoo and Conservatory only through May 1st though, so make sure you come out and check it out.